Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, I'm now going to answer question number eight from the International A Level, January 2001, two, 2021, sorry, Pure Mathematics P2 Edexcel paper. This question here is about sequences and what's called recurrence relationships. So it says a sequence A1, A2, A3, and so on is defined by a n plus 1 equals 2 times in brackets a n plus 3 squared minus 7 and a 1 equals p minus 3 where p is a constant find an expression for a 2 in terms of p giving your answer in its simplest form okay now what this means is to get to, <coughs> to get to the next term you got to take the previous term add 3 to it Square that, multiply the result by 2, and take away 7. So to get to the next term, you've got to replace this a in, the, in this formula with the term before the next term. So we want to find a2. Whoops. We want to find a2. So what we're going to do is, we're going to say, that, all right, a n plus 1, we want to find a2. So that's, that's now a2. Okay, that's what we want to find. a n plus 1, that becomes our a2. So we have 2 times, well, we need the a, the term before a2. This is a n plus 1. This is the term before a n plus 1. So the term before a2 is a1. So you have 2 terms, two times a1 plus 3 squared minus 7. And they told us what a1 is. It's p minus 3. So we're going to replace a1 with p minus 3. So you're going to have here p minus 3. And then you're going to have a plus 3 because this a1 is p minus 3. Then you've got plus 3 squared minus 7. Well, that gives us 2 times, well, minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so that gives us 2 times p squared, which is p squared. So it's 2p squared minus 7. So therefore, we can say a2 is equal to 2p squared minus 7. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Then part B, it says here, given that for n equals 1 to 3, that um, the sum of a n is equal to p plus 15, find the possible values of a2. All right, so now, <clears throat> what this means is, now a lot of students get confused by a question like this. They don't understand what this means. Okay, they have a problem with this uh, kind of notation here. They're used to having the formula like it is, um, they're used to having this formula on this side of the equal sign. Like a formula here, and then you replace the, 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 the letter in here with whatever numbers you have there and add them together. Like, for example, if you have the sum of, say, from n equals 1 to, say, 4 of, say, you can say 3n squared plus 2, something like that. That means you've got to place n into, into this. You put n equals 1 into here, and then n equals 2 into here, and then n equals 3 into here, and n equals 4 into here. And the the the, the uh, answers you get, you add them all together. That's what that means. So this would be three times one squared plus two, all right? Plus three times two squared plus two, plus three times three squared plus two, plus three times four squared plus two. And you add them together to get the sum. That's a different case to what we have here. Here, the formula is on the other side of the equal sign. So what this means actually is, you just replace the one, here, the n here, with one, two, and three. So this means basically. If you say the sum of from n equals 1 to 3 of a n, what it means is a1 plus a2 plus a3. So what they're saying here is the first term plus the second term plus the third term of this sequence is going to give us p plus 15. That's what they're telling us. Uh, we know the first term is, um, what was it again? p minus 3. They told us that in the question. We know the second term, we just found it, in this part of the question, was 2p squared minus 7. So the second term is 2p squared minus 7. So what we need is the third term, and if we add them together, they will all have to add up to p plus 15, and then we can try to find the values of p, and once we found the values of p, we can use those values of p, substitute them into the into the expression for a2 to try to find what a2 is okay so let's first of all find what a3 is we need to know what a3 is because what this means is you add the first three terms 
A1, A2, and A3, they're going to give you P plus 15. So we have, we got A1 and A2, we need A3. So we're going to use the recurrence relationship that we had up here to find what A3 is. Okay, so we can say that A3 is 2 times A2 plus 3 squared minus 7. Okay, so I'll use that same pattern that we see here, but use it for A3. So we have A3 is going to be 2 times A2 plus 3 squared plus or minus 7. Minus 7. Okay, so you can say A3 is equal to 2 times A2 plus 3 squared minus 7. So now we know what A2 is. We just found it in the first part of the question. So I can say A3 is equal to 2 times. Now A2 is equal to 2p squared minus 7. So you have 2p squared minus 7. Then you've got your plus 3 squared minus 7. So this is going to give you 2 times 2p squared minus 4 squared minus 7. Okay, so we have to square this bracket now. So we can say a3 is equal to 2 times, and you're going to have, this is going to give you 4p to the power of 4. Minus, you're going to have to multiply these together, that gives you minus 8p squared, and then double it, so it's minus 16p squared, and then you're going to have plus 16 uh, minus 7, and you can then um, simplify or expand that. That's going to give you 8p to the power of 4 minus 32p squared plus 32, and then minus 7. So we end up with a3 being 8p to the power of 4 minus 32p squared plus 25. Okay. So that's the value of A3. So I know that A1 plus A2 plus A3 equals P plus 15. Okay, so I know that A1, A1 plus A2 plus A3 is equal to P plus 15. So A1 is P minus 3 plus A2, which is P2, P squared minus 7 plus A3, which is I, I just found now, which is 8P to the power of 4, minus 32P squared, plus 25 is equal to P plus 15. Okay, so here, if I simplify this, um, I'm going to have like an um, equation, which I can solve. It looks like it's going to be one of those hidden quadratics, like P to the power of 4, and P squared, and a constant seems like this. Let's have a look. So I have 8p to the power of 4, and I have uh, p squared terms, which is minus 30p squared, minus plus 2 plus minus 32, yep. Yeah. And then I've got um, the p terms. I've got p um, on this side, so I'm going to have plus p. Right, there's no other p term. Then I've got minus 3 minus ten, uh, 7, which is minus 10. Minus 10 plus 25 is plus 15. Okay, and that's equal to P plus 15. Okay, now we can see what's going to happen here is the P plus 15s are going to cancel out because you're going to bring them to this side. So you have P minus P, which is 0, 15 minus 15, which is also 0. So we'll end up here with 8P to the power of 4 minus 30P squared is equal to 0. Okay, so let's go and um, solve this. I'll go to the other page to solve this. So we have 8p to the power of 4 minus 30p squared is equal to 0. So we can divide both sides by 2 here first. We'll end up with 4p squared, or 4p to the power of 4, sorry, minus 15p squared equals 0. Now I can take out the common factor, which is p to the power of 2. So I have 4p squared minus uh, 15 is equal to 0. So I'll have p squared is equal to 0, and I'll have um, 4p squared is equal to 15. So p squared is equal to 15 over 4. Therefore, p is going to be equal to the square root of 15 over 2. So I have two values of p. p is also equal to 0. So I have three values of p, plus or minus root 15 over 2, and 0. Okay, so now we have to um, go back and get what the expression was for A2, because the question was to find 
um, the values or possible values of A2. Okay, so we got what P is, we can now find what A2 is. Let's go back and get those expressions. Okay, so we were told, we, we worked out that A2 was 2P squared minus 7. So now I have possible values of P, I can work it out. So when P is equal to 0, you're going to get 2 times, you're going to say A2 is equal to 2 times 0 squared minus 7. So we can say A2 is equal to minus 7. That's one possible value of A2. And when P is equal to, in fact, both plus or minus the square root of 15 over 2, because in both cases we're going to square them, aren't we? So you're going to end up with one answer. You'll have 2 times plus or minus the square root of 15 over 2 squared minus 7. So in both cases, that those are going to get squared. So you're going to get 2 times 15 over 4 minus 7. So those will cancel there. You're left with 15 over 2, which is 7.5 minus 7. Okay, and you'll get, that's 0 0.5. Okay, so the two possible values of A2 are negative 7 and 0 0.5. Okay, so there's the answer to question number 8. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Um, other questions about uh, or from this paper will be found in the playlist that you can find on the top of the page here. Underneath it, you'll find the playlist for the topic of sequences and series from P2. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle of the page here. On the top of the page, there will be another link taking you to a different past paper from P2 that you might want to watch. Thank you for watching.